It was a sea lizard. Six feet long. I was only 11 years old. It's in the British Museum. Ammonite is loosely based on the life of Mary Anning, who was a very famous fossiler in the 19th century. The plot of the film follows Mary later in her life when fossils have become unpopular and she gets a visit from an upper-class couple from London. I've often heard your reputation discussed in the Geographical Society. Is there something you wanted, sir? He asks Mary if she will essentially take Charlotte under her wing and teach her as much as she knows about fossil hunting in the hopes, I think, of lifting Charlotte out of this sort of malaise that she's been in. She's grieving, actually, for a lost child. What makes Charlotte quite unique is she's a very giving person and somebody who's been very sort of harsh and broken but still has such a sort of great capacity for love. I wanted to explore this woman's life who'd never been recognised in her own lifetime. But I am obsessed with human emotions and relationships and I wanted to give her a relationship that felt worthy of her. Playing a character who has a relationship with a woman and feels great love for a woman, it was very new for me because I did see the role of a woman through completely different eyes to any of the roles I've played before set during that particular time period. It was just different. What is it? Cheap tourist fodder. Beautiful. As a director, I like to work in a specific way. It's very character based and very character driven. Um, so with Kate and Saoirse we started work maybe three months before the shoot and we built both of their characters from scratch from the moment they were born until the moment we first see them in the film. Francis um, really encouraged me to sort of come up with a backstory for the character and so it gave me an opportunity to, to sort of create this life for her and myself. Um, so it meant that it, it was something that became quite personal and something that I was actually quite involved in. Mary, my Mary, I can't believe you're here. Mary was quite a composed, still woman and emotionally quite held. And for me, that was difficult because I'm quite loud and animated and I move a lot. And Francis, you know, he really physically um, changed me in terms of how I held myself and my energy levels and, and, and keeping me still. The setting and the era will be eternally fascinating to me. I mean, how on earth women functioned wearing those layers of clothes and the corsets, oh my God. We actually decided that Mary would not wear a corset because I think the costume designer, Michael and I, ultimately just didn't believe that she would be able to be as physical as she had to be in her work and wear a corset. We have two costumes that sort of illustrate differences between our two characters, Mary and Charlotte. Mary, underneath the skirt, we have trousers for more practical way of climbing about the rocks and collecting the fossils. There was a theme that Francis had with knitwear, and so we thought, well, logically, it has to be a fisherman's jumper. And the idea was that it was something probably left over by a family member. This is Charlotte. Everything was about blues, greens, everything to do with the sea. Also the ribbon in the bonnet, the straw, a transparent so you can see through the bonnet. The only time you use red is when it represents passion. The first time you see Mary not in blue or in black is when she goes to London. I don't like any fakery, so I don't like stunt doubles or hand doubles. Both Kate and Saoirse had to learn everything they do in the film and do it for real. For Kate, that meant going down to Lyme Regis and fossiling on beaches for weeks, working with a fossil expert. Walking away from playing the experience, I was the most inspired by Mary Anning than I have ever been of any character I've played. And I've been doing this job for 26 years. It's important to tell Mary Anning's story now because I think now more than ever we're living in a time where 
Women on the whole, I think, are absolutely obsessed with other women. Um, and more importantly than how we look or how we feel when we walk down the street, it's about what women have to say. And I think the stronger female voices we have, and I think the more examples we have of great women in history, the more inspired we will feel, I think, as a community to support one another and to encourage one another and to inspire one another. And that, more than ever right now, is, is, is important. I want to go back to the life I had before you. What about my life?